I've wanted to get married since I was a little girl. I've always dreamed of this amazing day. However, as our wedding day started getting closer, the whole world got turned upside down and we were left trying to do the best in a really challenging situation. This is our wedding story. Since we got engaged, I think we've both been of the mindset we want to get married as soon as possible, but at the same time, make it absolutely perfect on the day. I'm so happy that we get to get married here. You dream about this day from the time you're a little girl. Lipstick and eye powder and blush. When we would travel, I'd say to her at a little gift shop, you can pick something to make the trip a little easier. And she'd always pick a wedding magazine. I think because I was always such a rough and tumble girl growing up, I was always in khaki and running around with animals. You are not that was my one little thing that was really special and really girly. <laughs> I was always so besotted by weddings. I thought they were just the most beautiful and magical thing, finding the person that you love more than anything and having your fairy tale day. I was born and raised in Florida and I grew up watching Steve and Terry's documentaries. I was the biggest Crocodile Hunter fan. So of course, while I was visiting Australia, I had to visit Australia Zoo. And just by chance, Bindi was actually giving tours that day. After Bindi and I met, we actually maintained a long distance relationship for about three years. And I love looking at the photo when mom and dad first met because they're grinning from ear to ear. They're so happy. And looking at the photo of us when we first met, you're holding a koala, and we have those same just silly grins. <laughs> For me, I knew that Chandler was the one when I watched him jump into our biggest crocodile's pond. And I watched him and went, nope, that's it, I'm gonna marry this man. That, it's official. I can't think of my life with anyone else but Chandler. I'm so happy that we get to have our human family and our animal family Aww. with the day. At Australia Zoo, wildlife isn't what we do, it's who we are. Yeah. So it only makes sense that we include it on our big day, the biggest day of our lives. I've grown up with so many of the animals here. They're like my grandparents. Now I don't feel like anyone's being left out. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a whole lot of work, but we're looking forward to it. It's going to be amazing. We're only ever going to do this once, so yeah. we're making it count. <laughs> <One time. laughs> Bindi getting married is going to be, you know, one of those biggest milestones in her life. And to not have Steve here for it is particularly poignant. I had the closest relationship with my dad. He was always my best friend and we did everything together. But what's the one thing dad would have wanted? He would have wanted me to be happy and for this to be the most joyful time in my entire life. You know, his, his spirit lives on in everything that we do and I, I think he'd be really excited. I've got some news. Events are moving quickly tonight here and across the world as the coronavirus outbreak is officially declared a pandemic. We're only going to have a really small ceremony now. Thankfully, everyone has been so loving and so supportive and understanding and Chandler's family kept saying to us, just continue on with the wedding. We want you guys to be married and happy. And that meant the world to us, but it is still difficult. How are you feeling? It's been really challenging with all the moving and changing. But I'm really excited just to be married. Uh, I can't wait to share the day with all of our animals as well. It's gonna be so fun. I am incredibly excited. Today is my wedding day. Despite everything else going on in the world, I am still able to get dressed with mom. Getting into my wedding dress is such a wonderful feeling. Okay, it's good. Is that it? You look amazing. Thank you so much. I've got the most 
incredible sister in the world and I'm, I absolutely just love her so much. And I'm so happy for her today. Let's go get married. Okay, let's do it. Somehow the media has gotten the news that we are getting married. This chopper is flying so low directly over the top of us. All of our animals are freaking out. So we're scrapping all of our plans and we're rushing to make another plan. Our entire outdoor wedding venue is ruined. Now we can't get married outside with all of our animals for their health and safety. But you know what? Paparazzi isn't gonna stop us now. I was overwhelmed with this rush of emotion. With the world crisis going on today, this was against all odds. It's overwhelming that Bindi and Chandler still managed to persevere. What a beautiful, romantic, unbelievable adventure. I am the luckiest man in the world to marry you, living our best life filled with wildlife, love, and lots of cocky. I love you with everything I have. It amazes me daily that you are so willing and excited to be part of our wild world. <laughs> you really are my soulmate. <laughs> I promise to love you with all my heart through every twist and turn the world brings our way. Chandler, do you take Bindi to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Thank you. So Bindi, do you take Chandler to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. <laughs> Chandler and Bindi, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yes. Chandler, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're married! Okay. <laughs> Finally! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. It's the best day of my life. Here you are marrying someone who's your soulmate, who you met in Australia Zoo just like me and Steve. <laughs> and your dad would be so incredibly proud. It's lovely. That's great. And just looking up, yeah, that's lovely. 